These things are royal pain in the butt to bleed. So changing a fuel filter with a rotary style pump uh, can be a real problem. You'll have something like this, an aluminum housing with a plastic drain fitting uh, for a water separator, a glass bowl, and then a filter like this Lube Refiner 296 that goes in a housing like this. Now when you get a new filter, um, when I've used the Lube Refiners or the CAVs, they come with two O-rings. One O-ring will have a blue dot on it. If you guys can see that, blue dot. Blue dot, think of sky, it goes up and it's slightly larger than the O-ring that fits in the, in the bottom here because your uh, filter bottom sits in here and seals on the, uh, on the inside here, but the other O-ring would seal basically on this lip. So if you get those two O-rings backwards, um, it will not start and that can be a real pain. You also get another little O-ring like this that goes right here on the top here. You get another O-ring possibly in uh, for your bolt at the top. This one's got a little washer, so you're gonna leave that alone. So blue one goes up, and so that just goes up in there. And just run your finger along, make sure that it's not rolled over at all. I think it is there, because I'm doing it with one hand. I'll pull that out. The Baldwin filter, however, comes with two of these O-rings, so you can actually replace the O-ring at the bottom of this, and in your bowl, and away you go. Don't drop the bowl, they're expensive, and don't ever, ever, pull this plastic cover off to drain the water because it'll snap off and you'll end up having to buy a new one. That's just for show um, off the dealer floor and that is it. Got that nice and clean. Fits in there pretty snug. Put the bowl in there. Put this o-ring in. Nice and snug. Make sure that's seated. Maybe just spin around, take a look. Make sure that, oh, kind of Baldwin, what kind of idiots puts their name on the filter upside down? Jeez, I was giving them kudos for giving me three O-rings. You idiots. There, I guess that looks the best. Made in Morocco. Okay, so uh, put a new oil filter on, obviously. Uh, do not fill a brand new engine with synthetic oil because you want those rings to seat. So first oil change at 50 hours, next one at like 200 hours, um, and then you can start using your synthetic. Uh, I fill the oil filter up with oil, try to keep the, fill the oil through the outside holes and uh, pop it on. If it's a full filter system, that means it goes straight from the oil pump to the filter and then to the end of the, to the rest of the engine. If it is a partial filter system, then the oil filter is at the end of the line, meaning that a lot of the oil uh, goes through the bearings and falls out and goes through the pistons and falls out and um, whatever's left over at the end of it gets filtered. So um, that filtration system doesn't matter if you fill the oil filter or not, um, but if you have an empty oil filter and you start it up, um, the oil pump has to fill the filter first and that's that much longer that the rest of the engine isn't getting oil. Um, so basically, if I can put the filter on straight up and down, I fill it with oil. If it's sideways or upside down, I don't worry about it. These things are royal pain in the butt to bleed. This is your little primer pump. So it attaches to the, I just got a little lever on it that hits the camshaft. And you got to be able, this isn't doing anything. See how easy that is? That could mean that the um, cam is pushing on the lever and there's actually no room for the diaphragm to go up and down. So you can bump start it, just put the cam in a different posi position or turn it by hand, whatever you want, um, and then bleed this container. Now, there's no bleeder on this one, so I usually crack the top fitting, air goes to the top, you wanna get rid of that there. This is actually the return from the injectors, but um, we're gonna crack this one. I don't have to on this one because this fitting was leaking, it's actually stripped, so I gotta get a new one. I hate these lines because they all have little rubber furrows in it, and when you stick um, new rubbers in there, it's really hard to catch the threads without pulling the threads out. Now you really have to push hard at each one of the fittings that has a, a rubber in it and, and push and then catch the threads. Um, but sometimes I've even like, I've started the threads and turn it and I let go to, to grab it. The rubber will actually push the um, fitting back out again. So generally I don't replace them. I've, I've tried shaving the, the, the furrows down and they always end up leaking. I've had better luck just putting the old rubbers back in again. So once you have it bled at the filter, 
you can uh, crack the uh, ones on the injection pump. So there's one here. Um, you want to pump until there's a good steady stream of fuel coming out of there. And then usually there's another one on the cover here. Um, and that's that one right there covered up by the hoses. So um, air goes up. So bleed this one first, then bleed that one. Then you can crack the injector lines. Mine are still loose. So once you get a little bit of spray coming out there, then you can tighten those up. Uh, sometimes it'll cough a little bit, you know that you're close. But uh, bleeding this thing is a giant pain in the butt. We're gonna try it. We've got our new oil pressure gauge, which will tell us that we have good oil pressure before we fire, just in case. Uh, I wanna make sure the biggest thing now is leaks. So we gotta get all these leaks taken care of. I hate the fuel leaks, but anyway, that's where we're at. Got our nice exhaust there um, from Lyle. We just gotta put a clamp, horseshoe clamp on the bottom or saddle clamp, and away we go. There's the air. Of course, it's impossible to catch that stream because you don't know where it's gonna go. So, on the ground it goes. And listen to that air. Oh. Oh yeah, look at the bubbles. I delayed it as long as I possibly could and heart's racing and uh, now it should it should fire. Neutral, full throttle. Not even much smoke. Um, we'll just check everything again. That actually started much better than I thought it would. Um, first start, honest, I swear.